we're gonna we're here to play some deity civilization six we're here we talked about uh last game i said you know what have we done a, a proper cultural run on deity i mean maybe maybe not i don't remember exactly uh but we certainly we have not played as eleanor of aquitaine who is relatively new um, we've dabbled as France before, Again, I don't know if it was deity or not or whatever, and I don't remember the outcome of it, but it has certainly been a while. So I thought, you know what, we just got off a religious run, let's try our hands at a cultural run, let's try our hand at Eleanor of Aquitaine, who of course comes in two flavors, um, well, her ability is the same, but she can play as either the leader of England or the leader of France, but I'll tell you what, let's do France, that sounds like a lot of fun. So, this is a... Deity difficulty, standard speed, standard size, fractal map. I think I did ramp the uh, city-states up to 18, because I really like having maxed out city-states. Actually, I'm not sure that's actually going to be beneficial to us exactly, um, but I like city-states, so I, I want to max city-states. And of course, the max on the standard size is 18, which is a hell of a magical number. Quill, another game of convincing everyone else you should be leader. I mean, that's really what it comes down to, right? I'm <clears throat> just going to convince the world that we are the best candidate to be the leader of the world and whatnot. Anyway, here is the uh, the game. I posted it on Twitter two, three hours ago. Um, I generated our, our starting save, and I got this because um, I wanted to have discussion on the tweeters uh, ahead of time. Um, there's a lot of dead tiles, a lot of, like, water tiles that, I mean, yeah, late, late, late game. You get, your, you know, your habitats and your your sea-based wind turbines and everything like that. Uh, but early on, they're basically just dead tiles. I mean, it'll be nice enough to have whales. I mean, we have two luxury resources, which is kind of nice. And we can have a decent harbor location, and that's okay. A um, couple of dead tiles over here, too. I mean, desert tiles. There's clearly nothing that could ever be done with desert tiles. Partially, when I saw the save, I was like... Well, you know we gotta we gotta go with this one because I mean there's desert over here and people are gonna start calling for the Petra, um, and I mean desert hills are the ones that make the Petra worthwhile. If there's more desert tiles over here, it could be that a second or third city might actually be well positioned to try or try to generate a Petra. Um, sort of fog glaring over here. <clears throat> it's possible. I don't know. This is coast as opposed to lake because this is lake, right? It is possible that we could, with a canal city or a canal or something like that, actually be able to sail ships sort of through here in some way, like maybe through this tile over here. Um, it might be possible to connect through the continent, which could be interesting. We'll see. Two sources of stone. On Deity, going for Stonehenge is, um, I feel, very much a trap. We've done it before. We've occasionally been able to get Stonehenge. The problem is you have to rush it so hard that it delays everything else about your game, and then Deity just goes and, like, mostly shows up with a bunch of troops and kills you. Um, so I don't think Stonehenge is a go. But we do have three pastures. We include some pastures on a hill um, and some other hills. Production in the capital is going to be really good. So I think too bad they aren't smaller bodies of water. That way they would be dead pools. Brought my Petra emotes, now you have to get it now. Well, I actually would be quite happy to do that. So we should actually recap and um, look at Eleanor's abilities here. Eleanor of Aquitaine. I like how it in here twice. Uh, wrong Eleanor. Actually, what I should have just done is looked up France. That'll be easier. Let's talk about France first. We're playing as France. So we have a 20% boost towards medieval, renaissance, and industrial era wonders. So not ancient wonders. So, for example, we wouldn't get a boost towards Stonehenge. But we get a boost to a bunch of other things after that, including the Petra, just saying. We also get a boost from tourism from Wonders of any era. So we get twice as much tourism from Wonders, which is kind of nice. Our special units, we have the uh, Gab de Imperial over here. Um, it um, doesn't replace anything. Is that true? I mean, it doesn't look like it replaces anything, which is kind of interesting. Uh, plus 10 combat strength when fighting on your capital's continent. Um, and we get great general points for killing units um, as this unit over here. Um, we also get a special infrastructure, the Chateau, which produces more culture, increases appeal, and also gives even more culture for every adjacent wonder, if you can pull that off. Also potentially gold for adjacent luxury resources, and it produces tourism on its own. Can only be built adjacent to rivers. For some reason I thought it couldn't be built adjacent to itself, but... I think uh, I might just be thinking of other improvements that are in there. So mostly it's a cultural rific kind of improvement, so we may look into spamming those. Um, and then finally, so then there's Eleanor of Aquitaine's ability herself. So she gets this ability regardless of whether she's French. That's Civ 5. Ah, uh, could be <laughs> Lomraka spending those channel points. <laughs> 
Um, Eleanor of Aquitaine, so can, it, is the same whether she runs France or England. Um, but what it is is great works in Eleanor's cities cause negative loyalty per turn in foreign cities within nine tiles. Fairly long reach. If we can get ourselves in a situation where we're in a golden age and we're next to someone in a dark age, um, and potentially even if we're in the same kind of age or something like that, or maybe normal versus dark or something, it's possible. Um, and we do have enough um, great works, we may be able to start flipping some cities that way, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it's also worth noting that cities that flip from, Ac from Eleanor's pressure don't go to a neutral state, they just immediately go to and join our civilization, and potentially could start a bit of a snowball effect. Um, so, you know, error manipulation is always something we work fairly hard on. It'll be, it's more important to get it as Eleanor, although I'm not sure there's more we can necessarily do, but we'll try to keep that in mind a wee bit, if at all possible. Um, and certainly we'll be looking to create some great works, which of course ties into our potential tourism slash cultural victory anyway. Ah, <laughs> all these puns in the chats are just pun bearable. Uh, what do you call a society that's very cold? A civilization. It's going to be one of those days, guys. Um, I see no reason not to settle in place here. Seems fine. I mean, we have fresh water. We're coastal. Um, you know, it's always nice to maybe be on a hill or this or that. I mean, we could move over here and settle on the coffee so we wouldn't have to plantation it. But then, then we don't get a plantation, which is kind of poop, and we waste a whole turn. I think we'll just absolutely go and settle in place. With our warrior, which I'll probably move first, I suspect we'll move down to this hill location first. I feel like, is my camera not set right? I feel like it's not. There you go. I want to be able to point within frame. Mm. Um, yeah, I think we'll move here and then take a look at our terrain. Nero says, I can't be blamed for this. I don't know. You started. Oh, we are in a fairly narrow strip. Fractal terrain often does lead to, like, kind of strips of land. Um, whether or not we're on an isolated island or if we effectively have a mega continent that is somewhat snaky or lake-filled, is yet remains to be seen. So, yeah, I'm going to go and settle in place. I like it. Now... When we're talking about France, of course, we need to make sure that our cities are correctly named after France's one and only historical capital, um, which is Brussels. This, if, if you didn't know, Brussels is just the French word for city. So this could be something like Brussels on the sea, which I think sounds lovely. So we'll have a whole bunch of Brussels in our empire. I think it's very appropriate, don't you? No flat desert, but there's another desert hill. Yeah, I mean, the, the flat desert, in a sense, you don't need the flat desert for the Petra. It's just that it feels like, like a flat desert's a dead tile, like really dead tile. So it's a good place to build the Petra. And then all of a sudden desert hills become amazing. Now with only three desert tiles and looks like no more land down here, it looks like we aren't gonna be creating another city. We could still consider putting a Petra here and improving, you know, getting two extra tiles that are pretty strong. The thing is desert hill, hills aren't that bad. They're, they're you know, not as good as a, as a grassland hill or something like that, but we can still use them. We might still Petra. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Call it Busses la Mar. Uh, I mean, English translation. That's what we're working with. Uh, Tech-wise, um, it is going to be very appealing, I think, to get animal husbandry early on. It does, of course, lead to archery, which is very valuable. Again, we could potentially consider a Stonehenge run, but I think it would be a bit of a mistake. I would love to get a religion. We might still consider doing astrology, but I think animal husbandry first is still correct. We do have the boost to sailing. Also, you guys didn't see this because I'd already loaded the, the map before you guys came here, but Ferengi trade has gotten boosted um, because, as it turns out, right over here is a new continent. Gonwana is right over here. And Lemuria is over here. Keep in mind, our Garde Imperial gets its 10% combat strength, or plus 10 combat strength, when fighting on our home continent. So, maybe not going to be as beneficial as we'd uh, as we'd hoped. Um, on Deity, I do like to start with a military unit, ASAP. Um, which is probably what we're going to do. The ideal is you start with a Slinger, you get a kill with a Slinger, you get your boost on archery right away. Um, starting with the second warrior is a little bit safer. Obviously, I would love to start with a scout, but I don't know if we can afford to do that. So, I think I will go ahead and sling her up here. I do have some mods running, right? I uh, I don't know if exclamation mark mods, it probably doesn't have it in there. It might have some old links in there. The cat scout mod is built into the game. It's not a it's not a separate thing. 
Um, you had to just link your 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 account to a sieve or something like that. I am playing with the um, the more lenses mod, as well as the better trade and better espionage uh, screen mods. Very nice, very standalone. Um, oh yeah, there you go. More lenses, better trade screen, better espionage mods are listed in Civ Six over there in in the exclamation mark mods. Um, let's take a quick look at what tiles are being worked on by our city. That's not bad. Two food, two production. I like you know we could we could go for a little extra growth early on, but I think the production is gonna be nice and the extra little tick of culture is also handy. And every now and again, there's like an extra thing hidden behind the little workman sign there, but no, nothing there this time around. Yeah, so I think that's a fine start. We are hoping for a cultural victory, uh, Black Knight. But, um, you know, as always, we sort of have to adapt. Well, we'll see. If we get... With the cultural victory, I guess we won't know early on. With some of the things like religious victory, like if we want religious victory and then we don't found a religion, a lot of times for the videos we, we start over at that point because we've got a specific goal we're trying to get to. Um, which is different when you play on your own, because one of the big things with Civ is always you should adapt to your circumstances. But with these videos, we're trying to do something explicit, so... Um, I could go down just to confirm whether or not there's more land. I... I think I will. Okay, no. Nothing there. Although, nice that there's crabs. One, two, three... Yeah, we can't even settle another city over here. So, things are actually a little bit on the tight side. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over sort of this way. Not a lot of space so far. <clears throat> you can culture victory by conquering anything. I mean, I think so. Wow, we have no shortage of whales. We're like the, uh, the western side of, of, of Great Britain. We're all about whales. Yeah. Oi, says aim online. <laughs> well, how about that? Mm -mm. I mean, so if you think that this joke was this joke about whales was corny, and we're talking about West Britain, would that be corn whale? Oh, wait. It was, it was a reach. It was a reach. I apologize. I apologize for my sins, you guys. Um. We actually may not have very much land to defend here. We might be able to get away without a warrior. And as a result, I would love to sneak a builder in here. No, bad quill. Bad quill. No cookie. All right, goody hut. Spearman, Whiskey attacking across the river sort of sucks, but we can, we can pretty much take this. Whiskey and chocolate from the Sekendi! Secondis! Thank you very much for the whiskey and chocolate contribution. That is much appreciated. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I butchered your name. As his best, man is the man. All right. Well, we may as well go with discipline right away, because we don't have any uh, exp uh, recon units anyway, and we're about to fight some barbarians. We'll, of course, choose God King, because we want to choose a Pantheon. On this map, originally I was thinking <clears throat> stone circles, but now I'm wondering a little bit if we might want the God of the Sea. I don't know. On the bright side, it means we do have a couple of viable paths. So we'll cross the river over here, pick up the Goody Hut, and then fight these guys. Um, and while I do want to see more territory, I think we actually are going to spring the Slinger back over here and try to get the kill. We if do still need no to get something to defend the east. Then when I die, I want to go where they went. Are we going for true cultural victory stealing everyone else's culture? I mean, maybe. Thing is, if you don't, if you don't play as Aquitaine, <clears throat> if you play as um, Catherine de Medici, it's the other French leader, right? Uh, she gets the plus one spy, which is really strong, because you can use that to just steal more great works and keep snowballing that way, which is kind of nifty. Uh, we got a couple of mountains. I mean, there's not going to be any great adjacency bonuses for things. Um, do we... We may still want to try to sneak in a an early religion with a holy site. I mean, it's also nice to get the writing early on, but I think we will do this. Help if we could find a natural wonder. Okay, 40 bucks. Um, I don't know if there's anything we truly, like we don't need to buy a tile or anything like that. Yeah, no, I'm okay. Bop you, lots of hills. So a little bit more stone here. And stone there we didn't even know about yet, or wait, did we know about that one? Yeah, I guess that one was within sight, Never mind. Um, uh, I know, I, this is not a natural wonder, this is just a named volcano. So 
rest up. Mm -hmm. uh, Zomnus, you're probably right. On the other hand, early accumula accumulation of faith will be quite good for us to be able to purchase great people, which will give us great works, which is an important part of our build over here. Um, I think I'm going to go oh, right for a settler. That's tempting. There's also something to be said about a warrior over here because I'm worried about um, deity barbarians, but there's not that much land. I think we can afford to get a very early settler here, which is going to be kind of nice. We're going to improve the pasture. Boom. Horseback riding boof. Meant to say boost and buff at the same time, so we end up with boof, which I kind of like. That might become a new thing, you guys. Just like scoot in a boot. Ooh, fresh rod of crabs. Uh, okay. Now, if I attack you... Okay, I will do it this way, because I'm worried that if we went the other way... Now, you'll probably just run away, right? Or you could suicide yourself on here. If you suicide yourself on my warrior, I'll be really quite salty, actually. Because it will deny me a, a, a boof. Um, I guess we're just going to stand around here for the builder for a bit. It's a bit unfortunate. Come here. Shoot that fool. Hey! Archery boof. And more gold and military tradition boost. I mean, boof. We gotta stick with it. We gotta commit. It's like the Brussels thing. You just gotta, you gotta commit. Positive aspects of trade, I suppose. The world gets... Alright, um, I think we still need God King, um, and there's no reason to switch out of discipline, even though there's no target for it at this time. Uh, we'll start working on craftsmanship. You're going to actually peek over here. Oh, that was where the scout had gone the other way, which is fine. And you'll come back over here, which is okay. And you'll sit there, which is also fine. Need a spelling rule for boof. Oh. I don't know. I was sort of imagining it as just B-O-O-F, but I sort of like the French word version of B-O-U-F-F-E. Although it can, you, some people might interpret it as buffet, boofy, which is also funny. Hello. Hello, campus location. So, I mean, I could buy a unit of some kind, but no reason to buy a trader right now. I'll probably just wait until the city gets planted and buy a trader there or a builder. Someone has built the Great Bath. Warrior's got a promotion. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use it now. That's fine. Um, I like Battle Cry early. Later on, I do like Tortoise for my melee units, mostly when we're trying to assault cities. But we don't have any of that going on for a little bit. Why fractal maps are the best? Because the mountain ranges and stuff? Oh! Pachakuti Inka Yupanki Subbuddy! Have we ever have we ever had this guy in the game? Dude's thick! Like good god! Holy crap! I kinda I kinda just wanna get a bear hug from him. Uh man. That unescorted settler is just there to, like, troll me. He's probably about to plop down a city, um, which might make things a little bit more awkward. But there's there's no way to cross here. This is a, a complete block, which is actually probably good for us trying to play a cultural game. All right. Um, I might just park the warrior somewhere vaguely over here just to try to do a little rebel busting. He gets mountain tunnels early. That's true. Yeah, there you go. There's the city. Okay, done, done, done. <clears throat> I think I want to. <coughs> Excuse me. What I'm going to do is get a warrior. So we can clear east and then go right into a settler after that. Um, what I propose is that we do settle over here and then we quickly buy up all these tiles. Mm -mm. Let's 
swap out of craftsmanship here. I don't believe in a struggle. Need mining so we can improve some terrain. Although, there we go. We can do this one here for now. We're saving the worker. Well, we, the worker couldn't do anything. The worker actually had no ability to upgrade anything until we got the sheep or we got mining. Boom. So we can go back and just finish craftsmanship. A little risky having the slinger go first here. Without craftsmanship, inspiration 